So I just clicked on the link that Mr. Guayo sent in the email. Uh, if you remember your EduThings login, then be aware it sends you straight to a password reset. So uh, I already did that once, so I'm going to go to the sign in down here at the bottom. And I should be logged in already. Okay, yeah. All right, so student certifications. Now, this should be step two, right? You already went to step one, you went to Certiport, you downloaded all the certifications for any of your students that passed any of the Adobe uh, certification tests, right? Uh, on this example, I'm just gonna show you one because uh, that's the one I, I downloaded. Remember, it's the PDF we did in the previous step. It's the actual certificate for a student, right? So, um, so I would do all of them together. For example, if you have five that did pass Adobe Illustrator, I would get all those Illustrator uh, PDF cer certificates, uh, you know, together or have them ready. Right, so I'm going to do Illustrator. Uh, again, a reminder about the wording, Adobe Certified Associate, Adobe Certified Professional. Right now, it's all the same, right? Like we talked about in the trainings for Gmetrics and the testing. Um, right now, it's all the same. Don't worry if it says Associate or Professional. Uh, it's all the same. As you can see here, it says Associate. All of them say Associate, right? Now, some say Expert. Again, that's just what... Certiport and Gmetrics are offering at the time, right? They're still all professional levels, even if it says associate, even if it says expert or professional. Just it's just wording, all right. So don't worry about that. Okay, so I have that. Uh, now I already did this previously, uh, so it's going to show some stuff that you probably won't see the first time. But I'm going to select one of my. Uh, One of my sections, I'm going to say assign certifications. Remember, I'm only doing Illustrator. Now, here's a question a lot of people are like, well, how do I know when my student did that? I already left the Certiport site. The certificate itself says when the test was taken and when the test was passed. It's on the certificate. I can't show you that here because uh, I have to blur out my student's name and so forth. Um, because of FERPA and all that stuff. So um, on the certificate, it'll tell you what the date is. Uh, and yes, unfortunately, we have to enter the, the date. So I'm going to say on that one, uh, I think it was December. You know, when we took the, had the exams this previous year, and I'm pretty sure it was the 10th. Uh, and this is only going to apply to the one that I'm actually uploading, right? Now, Here's where people get confused, but you shouldn't, right? This row is only taken. If they took it, it doesn't matter if they passed or not. Did they take the exam? Uh, yes. Now, they didn't all have to take it that day. Remember, the date is really only for the certificate that's going to be uploaded right now for the one that passed, right? Okay. Uh, so let's say out of this... These 15 students, um, all of them took them, but I just click on this one, so all of them replied. I'm gonna do it all of them, but this one, right? Say that student was absent or whatever. Uh, again, you these numbers here, it's because I did this earlier, so yours should be all blank, okay? I know mine says 12, 15, whatever, and I'm trying to correct this one. All right, um, who passed? Well. I only have one certificate right now and it's this student all right so all these people took it this one didn't and this one is the only one that passed out of the 15 students all right let's say that happened remember we have to put how many took the exam that's really how the vouchers get used up it doesn't matter if they pass or not for this reporting stuff right it's it's very important that we know if a voucher was used by a student period all right so we go to choose files. I have that one certificate. Again, you can go back there and change the name of the PDF file if you want, right, to be more organized. And at a glance, you'll see what student uh, 
what what certificate uh, that is for that student, right? By putting a name, I just did this this way so you don't see my student's name. And I'm gonna hit open, right? <clears throat> and that should be it. Now I can go down. Uh, again, that's that's the one that did pass. That's the date that student took the, the exam and passed. And then I'm gonna hit save. Now it's gonna give me some other stuff here. You shouldn't have that. It's because I already did this before. And I hit save and it's gonna say one error prohibited these certification entries from being saved. Some of the students, blah, 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 uh, have already had results entered to this certification year. If you wish to enter them anyway, please save again. Please note, if you uploaded any files, you will need to re-upload them. So basically, it'll kind of re-save over the previous one. So I'm going to hit save again. Cool. And that updated it. The certifications were finalized. Um, and uh, that should be it. All right. So notice also there's an edit here. Uh, if I wanted to edit that, right, it just takes me right back to it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, yes, unfortunately, you have to upload them individually, um, but that's the way we got to do it. So we know that each individual student did it and passed the certification, or each individual took the test and didn't pass, but a voucher was used. Okay, and I think that's it.